Cha-Cha, Rumba, Swing, Bolero, and Mambo are the five dances incorporated in American Rhythm. In today's video, we're going to talk about the origin of each dance and show how it looks on the dance floor. Like and subscribe if you're ready to learn more. What's up, beautiful dancers? Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome to my channel, Black to Ballroom. I'm your girl, Crystal, here to give you the inside scoop on everything you need to know in order to make your ballroom journey successful. And today we're going to talk about rhythm. When I first got into ballroom dancing, I did not understand what rhythm meant. All I knew is that I wanted to do some kind of Latin dancing or Latin based dancing. So that's when I was introduced to one of the four styles of ballroom dance, which is American rhythm, also known as rhythm for short. In this style of dance, all of the hip action that's created comes from the bending and straightening of the knee action, which gives it that original feel from the actual origin of the dance itself. American rhythm consists of five different dances. There is cha-cha, rumba, swing, bolero, and mambo. The cha-cha or the cha-cha-cha, originally of Cuban origin, was very popular in the 1950s. And the name came from the shuffling of the feet, which is also what we put a count to as four and one. It is a very fast, upbeat, quick, fun rhythm type of style of dance. And as you can see here, it is a lot of fun. Rumba, or its translation, party, comes from an Afro-Cuban origin. It started with the African slaves in Cuba as a mating ritual where the, the hip movements were very fast, very, very, very quick. And after World War II, it had more of that Cuban influence, which slowed it down to more of a son feel. And it's kind of what you see more of today in ballroom competitions. And it still has a lot of that hip action. It's still very like sensual and it is just hot. Next, you have East Coast Swing, also known as the Jitterbug, very popular in the 1920s. And believe it or not, this dance was created not because of its movement, but because of the style of jazz music in that time. So that, the Jitterbug came from a lot of people saying, oh, look at those people bouncing around like little jitterbugs on the dance floor because it's very quick, it's very upbeat. And as you can see, a lot of the steps are the triple step, triple step, quick step. And then you can add your own flair and flavor to it, which makes that a lot of fun and very uh, lively to see on the dance floor. The bolero. Bolero, I knew absolutely nothing about until I got into ballroom because it is not really a dance that you see socially, but it is known as the Cuban dance of love. And yes, you guessed it, it has a Cuban origin. It's a mixture of three different dances, waltz, tango, and rumba, believe it or not, because a lot of the times when you watch Valero, that frame that, that couples tend to get into comes from that waltz or that tango, but yet that hip action that's developed comes from more of that Latin or that rhythm style of dancing. It is a slower dance that's typically done in two, four time or four, four time and it is hot. Last but not least, we have the Mambo, which originated in the 1940s in Cuba, showcasing a lot of sensual movement and fancy footwork. There was a time where the Mambo became a little unpopular, but then it was brought back to life. Um, as we see now, it's like Mambo on two or Salsa on two, because a lot of that Mambo emphasizes the breaks and the hip action on the count of two. So you have a lot of one, two, three, five, six, seven, which you can see here. And it is a very, very fun, fun dance. It's still, that has became more popular as we've seen today. And so there you have it, a quick breakdown of every dance that you would do if you start to compete in American rhythm. And if you don't wanna compete in an American rhythm and you just wanna do a few from there, then learn just a few of those as well. So go out there, try them out, see what you like, see what feels good to you. And if you like what I had to say in today's video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.